Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West. And what I want to talk to you about is leaf springs. Now this happens to be a Cat 5 leaf spring. This is for 67 through 81 Camaro Firebird, 68 through 74 Nova, or actually all the way to 79 Nova. Also covers a few other applications as well. Now what we call a Category 5 system is this particular leaf spring is at the top of the line in reference for the road racing autocross type applications. And the reason why it is, is because one, it's a reverse arch, and number two is it's got a bearing system in it. Now we put a spherical bearing in the eyes. And let me show you how that works. We got a bearing system in the front here. And you see how this is allowed to pivot easily? Okay. And we're going to tell you why here in about a minute. And in the back, we also have one back here in the spring eye. And what this does, it actually allows the leaf spring to tilt. Normally what happens in a leaf spring application when you got your bushings, and there's several brands, you know, like Ardell Loams, Polys, Rubber, whatever. When you got a leaf spring, and this leaf spring mounts, okay, when a car goes around a turn or goes, goes over bumps where, let's say, one tire hits a bump, the other one does it, the differential has to be able to do this, okay? Like this. And a leaf spring, what it does is it resists a lot of that movement because you've got this flat leaf here and you've got a bushing in here and that it doesn't like to do that. That's one of the, the, the signs of, in road racing and autocross, for example, a lot of people want to get away from leaf springs is because that bind condition, because it really is, it does go into a slight bind. What that does is it creates a rising rate rear, which makes the rear end not plant. The inside tire tries to come off the ground, you come around the turn, you can't put power down. It's pretty common with most leaf spring cars. Well, you can get away from that situation by putting a bearing system in like what we do. Because that bearing, as you've seen it tilting, that bearing allows for the leaf spring to actually tilt like this, okay? So what happens is when you've got it attached, you're coming around, going over a bump or going around a turn, and the, and the differential has to pitch, you know, and the body's rolling, that leaf spring allows this action and keeps the tires planted on the ground. So what happens is it actually softens the rear in that type of environment. Now this happens to be a reverse eye. A reverse eye leaf, I'll turn this over here so you can see it. The leaf spring wraps to the top and then drops down. Where a standard leaf, this section here would be coming from the bottom here, okay? So a reverse eye has a lot of benefits. One, it allows you to lower the car down further and maintain some arch in the spring because what you don't want to have is a leaf spring that goes to a reverse arch. You want to have a little bit of arch in here. By going to a reverse eye, we automatically can lower the car down further. That's why in our other leaf springs that run a standard eye, we have limitations on how far we can lower your car using that type of a leaf, where this one here gives us a lot more latitude. Now when you want to reverse eye like this, it also can handle more horsepower because as the spring wraps up, you've got your differential here, pinions right here, and, and under acceleration, the pinion walks up, which pulls this segment up. Now on a reverse eye, what that does is just flattens the leaf out. It doesn't go past that. It can't. But on a other style leaf where it's underneath, not a reverse, but where it's normal, it can actually bow like this. And if you've ever heard of the term wheel tramp or wheel hop, what's happening is, is that leaf spring and that's, is wrapping up and it reaches to a certain point and then releases and that's how the wheel tire starts to dance in the back, okay? So there's several ways of fixing that. That's why you have traction bars and, and different designs of leaves to try to control that. But a reverse eye, it doesn't, literally, when you run a reverse eye, you don't have that issue because it goes straight, okay? So we run reverse eyes in all of our high horsepower autocross, road race, and some guys on the street as well. But being a Cat 5 system here, it's especially unique because it doesn't increase that spring rate in the rear when you're going around a turn. It's not a rising rate. So the leaf spring appears to be softer on the car. The softest in the car also allows the tires to hook up and you accelerate harder out of the turn. We also have these mounts. Now this is the new LSB 71 mount. This mount is designed to go with reverse eye leaf springs. 
If you run a reverse I on those applications, you will require to run this LSB71. So what we got in the back is we're working on a fiber right now where we're going to be installing these Cat5 Leafs and we're going to install an LSB71. So let's go in the back, let's install this and we'll show you a little bit more information on why a Category 5 leaf spring with the bearing system is the way to go.